Hi. <coughs> Many times while working uh, in the domain of digital signal processing and while designing some systems or filter, it is required often to find the impulse response of the system. Or if we want, or in other sense, if we try to find the uh, response of the system uh, for a specific input, then in those cases too, we require the impulse response of the system so that we can easily characterize or uh, characterize our system. So in this particular video, we will uh, discuss uh, about how to find the impulse response of the system in MATLAB. For finding the impulse response of the system, first we need to know the transfer function of the system. So transfer function comes in the terms of uh, like uh, the coefficients of the numerator and the denominator. So if we know the coefficients of the numerator and the denominator, then we can easily uh, find, the uh, find the impulse response. So first we will take a system and we will take the coefficients uh, of the numerator part of the transfer function as follows 2.2403 this is taken uh, these values uh, are taken from an example uh, you can choose a different uh, corresponding to your your problem statement 403 so its numerator part contains three value and again denominator contains three value so definitely it is a second order transfer function Now, uh, for finding the impulse response, uh, we need to define the number of samples over which the impulse response will be uh, computed in MATLAB. So, we will define the number of uh, samples equals to 40 or 100. Suppose we are taking 100. And the impulse response can be uh, determined simply by typing the command IMPZ and the numerator, comma, denominator and comma, the number of samples and a uh, new pop-up window will pop up or oh, we can uh, simply uh, plot or simply stem uh, we create uh, we can create the stem plot of the y in order to display um, the impulse response so this is the impulse response of the system and if we go for the basic theories of the system then we can uh, while observing this uh, outcome of the system we can easily say that this is the impulse response of a stable system because the condition is if the impulse response dry out to zero for the infinite length of the time then it is a stable system otherwise if the impulse response for find bounded input it impulse response is go, goes out of the out of bound that means goes out of the infinity then we can say that uh, the system is unstable so this is one more application of the impulse response one of, one of the benefit of the impulse response or it can also provide the information regarding the system so this is a simple way through which we can easily find the impulse response of the system of any system in MATLAB so that uh, so that's it for this video thank you